Newcastle won Liverpool won, Reds frustrated as Toon secure a deserved point at St James Park. If Liverpool's failure to win in Russia had Jurgen Klopp tearing his hair out, yesterday was another tortuous experience for the German. Newcastle should have been dead and buried at half-time as Liverpool laid siege to the Toon goal. But defensive frailties and a failure to convert clear-cut chances once again proved the Reds' downfall. One win in seven games for a side struggling for form. Yet at times this season, Klopp's players have scaled heights and Philip Cotino's 23rd minute opener would have decorated any occasion. But they are a team with flaws, magical one moment, just um as the next. And those worrying defensive frailties allowed Chozalu to equalise for a Newcastle side who showed great character not to go under during a frenzied period of Liverpool pressure. With Liverpool's level dropping a notch after the break, Rafa Benitez's side matched their opponents in the second half and could have won at an injury time when they forced their first corner of the game. Liverpool failed miserably to defend Nate Ritchie's delivery and Mo Diam, who had only just come off the bench, should have scored but his shot deflected into the grateful arms of Simon Mignolet. The visitors' best chance of the second half came courtesy of a Kieran Clark air kick, letting in Daniel Sturridge but his close-range shot was blocked by Rob Elliott and then Mo Salah fired wide of a gaping target. Then, late on, sub Alex Oakslade Chamberlain met Alberto Moreno's cross at pace but could not keep his header down. Even the most blinker tune fan would have to admit Newcastle were fortunate to go in level at half time. How the home goal survived the pinball like assault in the 23rd minute when Liverpool hit the woodwork twice, had an effort cleared off the line and shot wide in a matter of seconds, defied logic. And Yozelu's second goal for the club, cancelling out Cotino's wonder strike, owed much more to luck than design. Cutino has now scored 17 goals for the Reds from outside the box and his 29th minute Thunderbolt was as good as any of them. Still, Benitez won't have been happy at John Yoshelv's failure to close him down, allowing the little Brazilian to cut inside, look up and then missile a 25-yard or pass a helpless Elliot. Seven minutes later Shelv did redeem himself with one of those trademark through balls, which bisected the two Liverpool centre halves. Klopp would not have been happy with his sides defending which left Yozelov in the clear but still, it was hard not to have sympathy with Joel Matip. He recovered well to catch a dawdling Yozeli but when he went in for the tackle, the ball rished off the striker's shin, rolling into an empty net. Newcastle had started on the front foot with Ritchie and Shelv having the first two shots on target, without seriously testing Mignolet. But after Sadio Main's far post volley crashed into the side netting, Liverpool took firm control, threatening whenever they crossed the halfway line. Ginny Wijnaldum, still to score away from home, was inches away from finding the net against his former club when his header hit the post. Main followed up with another effort against the woodwork, Dijon Lovren's shot was blocked and then Main shot wide. What a let off for Newcastle though relief was temporary once Cotino swung that magical right foot of his. In this fixture on previous occasions, the floodgates would have opened. 
but the Magpies are a resilient outfit under Benitez and Liverpool lack the ruthless streak of yesteryear to exploit such situations.